Well, did my question grab your attention? <laughs> I hope so. Here's the point. We've already been through a long election season. It's, uh, it's, it's been very serious and there's a lot, a lot of fear and anxiety. But you know what? We've got to have some fun with this thing. In my lifetime, there has never been an election that is so weird and wacky, strange, crazy, and funny as the one we are entering into between Trump and Clinton. So I want to give you some comparisons I came up with, and I hope you'll add to them. Send them to me, make mine better, add some more to it. Uh, and that first one in my question, who would be one ply? Without question, Hillary Clinton. You see, she would have to identify with the environmentalists. Trump, on the other hand, he's definitely a two-ply guy because he would want to get the job done right. Some other comparisons. How about food? In the Trump world, I can see nothing but a steak medium rare. Got to be some blood in what he eats. For Hillary, again, she's got to stay politically correct. So hers would be a kale salad. Songs to identify, this was the easiest of all for Trump. Pink Floyd, The Wall. And for Hillary, a little more difficult here, but the, my favorite was Steve Miller Band, you know, ooh, take the money and run. Then we have animals. Trump, I chose hyena, uh, not the actual hyena, more the cartoon or the folklore character. For Hillary, no doubt, it's the sly fox. If they were fighters, I think Trump would be Donald the Jabber Trump because he's always jabbing, never stopping, whether it's the press or opponents. Hillary, on the other hand, would be Hillary, Bob, and Weave Clinton because you can never land a really good punch on her. If we're talking nature, I think Trump would be the storm. You know, he's making lots of noise, blowing everything over and all kinds of crazy stuff happening. And there's always the hope that something will grow out of it. Hillary, on the other hand, would be the rainbow. So she would really have nothing to do with the storm. She's just going to make sure she looks good coming out of it. And then nicknames, I was on the web and my favorites were for uh, Donald Trump, it was Darth Hater, and for Hillary, she was the Wicked Witch of the West Wing. And then finally, to sum it up, they both have campaign slogans. Trump, you know, it's Make America Great Again. Hillary is just Hillary for America. So here's my opinion of both of them, and here's how it changed their slogans. For Mr. Trump, it would be Making Trump Great Again. For Clinton, it would be Hillary for Hillary. Well, there's so many more and add them to me. Send your comments. Let me know. I'll keep a list uh, going on my website, questionsbybill.com. Hopefully you'll participate and let's just try to have some uh, fun with this. So we'll stay serious, believe me, but hey, we still have to enjoy the ride as we go.